Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating independent probabilities in Excel. As always, if you find this video to be helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this Excel worksheet fictitious data I'll be using for this example, and I have three side effects listed here, one, two, and three, and then a probability that each side effect will occur. So let's say that this is a counseling treatment that we're using. And in a 30-day period, we have done research and we've determined that there are three possible side effects, or at least side effects of interest, that could occur in these 30 days. And side effect one has a 50% chance of occurring in 30 days. And side effect two, a 25% chance. And side effect three, a 10% chance. So these three side effects are completely independent of one another. So we're going to start with that as a premise. These are independent probabilities. And what that means is that the probability of side effect one occurring has no bearing on side effect two and side effect three. So side effect one is observed in that 30-day period. That doesn't change the probability of the other side effects. And the same thing for side effect two. It's not influencing side effect three or side effect one. And of course, the same thing for side effect three. So all of these are independent. So we have the probability that they'll occur in a 30 day period that's given 50%, 25%, and 10%. So we're going to want to calculate some other probabilities for these side effects. The first is going to be the probability of each one not occurring. And that's fairly easy to calculate, equal sign, and one minus the probability of occurring. So the probability of not occurring is one minus the probability of an occurrence. So of course, in the case of side effect one, that's 50%. I can autofill this to the right for side effects two and three. And here, because I don't wanna eliminate the background formatting, I'm just going to fill without formatting. And the probability that we would not have side effect two, 75% chance there and 90% chance of side effect three not occurring. So these top percentages, the probability that we will observe the side effect, the ones on the bottom, the probability that we will not. We may be interested in the probability of each side effect not occurring and that's why we would calculate that up here. Also, we use this value to help us calculate the probability that at least one will occur down here. So let's start though with the probability that all will occur. So what is the chance that we will observe side effect one, two, and three? That we'll observe all three side effects given these individual probabilities. And this is gonna be equal to the probabilities multiplied by one another. So this will be equal sign, the first probability, 50%, and then asterisk to multiply it. The probability for the second side effect, 25%, and again, asterisk, and the probability of side effect three occurring 10%. So we multiply all the probabilities together, all these percentages together, and we get 1.25%. So there's a 1.25% chance that we will observe all three side effects. The probability that none will occur, we're going to calculate this in a similar fashion. It's going to be the probabilities for each side effect not occurring multiplied together. So this will be equal sign, the 50% for side effect one, then the 75% for side effect two. Again, this is the probability that we will not observe side effect two. And then 90% for side effect three. So all these values multiplied together, it gives us a 33.75% chance that none of these side effects will be observed. And then for the last calculation, the probability that at least one of the side effects will be observed. 
And the way we can think about this calculation is the probability that at least one will occur is equal to one minus the probability that none will occur. So we'll start with that. This will be equal sign one minus and then we're looking for the probability that none will occur. And we've already calculated that here in cell B7. That's 33.75 percent. So we'll subtract that value and we get 66.25 percent. So there's a 66.25 percent chance that at least one of these side effects would be observed. I hope you found this video on calculating independent probabilities in Excel to be useful. Thanks for watching.